Seekers, I'm Nick. Yesterday we checked out the uh, most extreme board on the other end of the spectrum for Z490, and today we decided that we would show you what's on the uh, the cheaper side of the spectrum, although we don't know the pricing for this yet. We're checking out the Biostar Z490 GTA Evo. It sounds like a race car, but does it go like a race car? Nobody knows. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're gonna uh, do our motherboard thing and check out this, this more budget focused motherboard. So just remember as well, like I always say with these motherboard videos, this is not a review. Roll that intro. As usual, our motherboard videos are not reviews, they're just overviews so you can get an idea of what comes in the box with motherboards like this GTA EVO Z490 board from Biostar. So without further ado and without doing a review, let's uh, see what you get in the box. And uh, just a bit of a caveat, this video is going to be shorter than usual because there's not a whole lot going on here and you're about to find out the whole story with that. So yeah, let's take a look. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the Biostar Racing Z490 GTA Evo. It sounds like a race car. Alright, let's get the motherboard out of the way so we can have a look at what little comes with this motherboard. Because, spoiler alert, there's not a whole lot. And speaking of not a whole lot, there is four SATA or SATA cables, depending on where you are in the world. And that's to plug in your spinning rush drives or your 2.5 inch SSDs. There's also this flexible bit of plastic. It is racing grade plastic it is a wheel for a car now it's actually a disc for all the drivers last but not least is the manual now this manual will show you how to install the cpu the cpu cooler it will walk you through the bios and basically everything to do with this motherboard pretty standard stuff for a manual for a motherboard nothing super exciting going on here next up is the motherboard itself and i'm gonna say this straight off the bat I actually rather like the look of this motherboard. I think this motherboard's actually going to be quite fairly and, and well priced. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at everything on the board just so it all makes a bit more sense. The first thing we've got is the front panel audio connector. Pretty standard place to have that on a motherboard. There's three PWM fan connectors to make your fan spin and make air go through your system. There's also a diagnostic LED screen, a serial port connector, which is actually quite nice if you're using this to build a little home server. Two USB 2.0 headers. There is a Thunderbolt header as well, as well as the front panel connectors for all the lights and switches and everything that turns the board on. There's also a switch, so you can switch between the dual BIOS setup on this motherboard. There's also six SATA connectors for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There's also a USB 3.0 header, which is actually USB 3.2. Pretty standard stuff for these type of boards. There's also a 24 pin power connector to send all of that juice required to your brand new 10th gen Intel CPU, or rather the board itself. There's also a bunch of switches, one's for reset, one's to clear CMOS, and one is a power switch and an LN2 switch. And that's why these switches are actually there in the first place. There's also two five volt addressable RGB headers and a regular old 12 volt analog RGB header. It's actually got quite good RGB support right out of the box. There's also a chunky heatsink for two of the 16 phases of the VRM and a CPU opt header for your AIO and a CPU fan header, as well as two 8-pin EPS connectors to send all of the juice that these 10th gen CPUs will require. You'll notice that most of these boards have two of these. Next up, we've got the PCIe slots. Now, both of the 16 times size slots are actually wired for 16 times, but whether or not they run at that speed is a whole other story. We're actually not sure at this point in time. We'll let you know when we're allowed to test the CPUs. You'll also notice that there is an Intel CNVI wireless slot. Now, this board supports Wi-Fi 6, but doesn't actually have a Wi-Fi 6 adapter on the board. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I think it's a way just for them to save money. Let's uh, zoom out for a second and take off the heat sinks off the M.2 slot so we can take a little bit of a closer look. And as I mentioned in the last video that we did with Z490, Z490 does actually support PCIe Gen 4 in a limited capacity. And my guesses are it's going to be storage. Next up is the Z490 chipset itself. It is passively cooled by this giant heat sink. It's actually quite well designed. It, it is a budget focus board, but it is 
it's very well executed. There's also four DDR4 RAM slots which support RAM up to 4400 megahertz and a total of 128 gigs of RAM. Next up is the socket itself. It is the new LGA1200 socket. It is not electrically compatible with any other Intel chip. This is a brand new socket for 10th gen CPUs. And don't be fooled by the 11 5X socket cover, guys. It's just being reused. Yes, the socket covers are compatible, but it is a LGA1200 socket. And left, we take a little bit of a look at the socket. And like I mentioned in the last Z490 video we did, the locating pins, or rather the locating tabs for the socket are moved to the bottom of the socket. They're no longer at the top. Next up is the VRM layout. Now, it's a 16 phase VRM. Whether or not it's a direct VRM or it uses doublers, I'm not sure. I haven't had time to tear the board down yet. Now, let's take a look at the rear I.O. There's Wi-Fi antenna connectors. If you were to put in that CNV or wireless module, there's also HDMI, a PS2 port. And now, this is for LN2 overclocking, so it makes a lot of sense. A whole stack of USB 3.2 ports, a USB Type-C port. Now, this is odd for Z490 boards, but it's only got gigabit Ethernet. And there's also 7.1 digital surround sound and an included I.O. shield. But before we do the B-roll... I think we need to peel some of the plastic off so we don't get any weird reflections. So enjoy this little bit of soundless plastic peeling ASMR. Yes, uh, some people enjoy this. So I decided that I would actually add this footage in for your viewing pleasure. So without further ado, and with all the plastic being peeled off, it's time for that. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Biostar Z490 GTA Evo. I actually thought this board looked pretty good. I kind of like the, the design of it. I think it's nice and I'm gonna say minimalistic, but I think this might be one of the, uh, the better looking budget boards for Z490 because I suspect that <laughs> like Z390 and X570 that these boards are gonna be very expensive. And the thing is with all these new Z490 boards, no one's talking about prices. I think, to be honest, all the vendors are scared to talk about it until the CPUs are actually closer to coming out. So yeah, um, I I'm gonna find out some more info from Biostar about this board because I do wanna know pricing, but for now we weren't provided anything. So yeah, like I mentioned, closer to the date, We'll, we'll, we'll get to all of that. But if you guys like the music you heard here, I make all the music on the channel. You can grab it over on our Patreon if that's something you're interested in. And you can also help by supporting the channel by hitting that join button if you want to do that or getting early access on Floatplane. Yes, we are on Floatplane as well. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very, very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek. And if I sound happier than I usually am, there's a really good reason for it. I had four hours of sleep last night. And on top of that, I love when new products get released, like when the whole new generation comes. And I just get really excited because we're gonna have heaps of new gear to do builds with. 
And that is, I, I mean, you guys live for that, I live for that, and I'm keen to do some builds with all these new Z490 boards, even if we have about 15 more of them to get through before <laughs> we get through all of them. Also, just uh, while you're still here sitting around and watching, we do have a lot more Z490 boards to, to go through over the next few weeks, so literally it's going to be just a lot of motherboard content. However, of course, we're gonna be sprinkling stuff in the middle. We've got quite a few builds coming that are really interesting. Got some stuff with Be Quiet and Antec and probably Leon Lee and a bunch of other cool cases. So yeah, stick around. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna find something you like. So subscribe if you haven't yet and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.